What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is officially 23.52 in the morning, at night rather. We are in the port of Singapore. We're shifting from one berth to another berth and I've just woken up. As you guys know, I'm sailing a second mate. So as a second officer, my day starts at midnight when everyone goes to sleep and my day ends at midnight. So I have the 12 to 4 watch. Uh, today was a special day because we were in Singapore and we went to the Shell terminal to load cargo. So during the day, I couldn't really get out of my cabin because I haven't even completed 21 days on board. And that's a requirement that Shell has. They're not allowed to participate in the cargo operation so we were quarantined in our cabin so finally uh, we're leaving the shell terminal and we're going to oil tanking which is another terminal in Singapore to load another cargo I'm gonna log from midnight to midnight and uh, document the entire day try and document everything that's happening on the ship for you guys so welcome back to another vlog at sea let's get into it we're gonna go up to the bridge and prepare for departure and I'm gonna see you guys in a bit Super dark at night, the pilot just came on board. I'm just gonna prepare everything on the bridge to the control test. It's too dark for me to show you guys that, so I'm gonna shift over to a time lapse so you guys can see the ship moving out. It's E.B. Albert. Hi. What's up? Ready to steer? Yes. All right. So this is where we are. We're gonna follow this route and go all the way over here. We're actually moving from one jetty to another jetty and I know you guys can't see me right now because it's super dark but that's the plan for now. We have a pilot there. How many hours? 14 hours from now. <laughs> We've been working for over 14 hours at a stretch. It's crazy. So I'm currently in the cargo control room. It is around 2.30 in the morning. The surveyors have just come on board. We're going to be doing our pre-cargo meeting and we're going to start our loading operations. So that's basically the update. So I just went to check the hoses. Uh, the cargo passes from the jetty to the ship using hoses. So that needs to be checked by the duty officer before we start the operation. So that's what we just did. So as you guys can see, there's a large amount of paperwork to be carried out as the duty officer, especially before the cargo starts. You have to check all the lines on deck to make sure the correct tanks are being loaded, the correct hoses are being connected. You also have to make sure that your internal systems, your gauges are all in good order and everything's working correctly so that you can get proper readings in the port. So yeah, it's pretty hectic. Uh, it is already 2.45. My watch normally ends at 4 because we have three officers on the ship, but because of us quarantining in the last port, one officer had to do overtime. So now in this port, we are doing six on six hours so that he gets enough rest and he's being compensated. So overall, I'm going to be on watch for another three hours and I am already so, so exhausted, you guys. What we're looking at there is a manifold plan. We have Come manifolds on both sides, so we have to make sure the hoses are rigged so that the correct cargo combinations can work out and After can load in the appropriate tanks. For example, we have one hose coming in here into this tank. We have one hose going into this tank that's connected into all of these tanks. So this is basically the chief mate's job, but it's also the duty officer's job to ensure that the plan is being followed. And what we see on the paper right here is replicated on deck. super quiet at night. Everyone's asleep. It's only me and the chief mate and two of the deck crew members who are awake. The ship is silent. I think that's the best part about being a second mate. The night watch is so peaceful. But it's also full of responsibility. So drink your Red Bull and make sure your eyes are open at all times. Okay, so we're going to do a quick rundown of all the equipment that you guys can see around me in the cargo control room. 
So let's check it out. This is the cargo system. These are all the tanks that we have on board, starting from one, going all the way to the seven. These are the tank valves, and these are the common manifold valves. These valves connect to all the tanks. This is basically your cargo system. You can control all your cargo tanks from right here in the cargo control room, which is really cool because when I was a cadet, we had to go on deck to operate all of these valves. So we have a ballast system. So I know a lot of you guys are not sure what ballast is. Ballast is basically a water system where we basically have tanks, water tanks where we fill up seawater so that we can maintain the stability of the ship when we're not loaded with cargo or even sometimes when we're loaded with cargo depending on what is required. It's basically water for stability and we have tanks for that. So we can also open the tank valves for that right here. This is the sea suction and all of these green lines that you see are actually pipelines that go into each individual tank so you can control the entire system right here without actually having to go out on deck which is really cool internal communication systems this is backup this is the main system this is the motors that basically are used to operate these valve systems right here it's a hydraulic power system there we have an ODMCS which is an oil discharge monitoring system as per Marpol here the oil that's actually discharged as per Annex 1 goes through that guy there this is our nitrogen generator system. We're not going to get technical about it, but you have to put nitrogen into your tanks, which is a very, very critical operation. So nitrogen system. Next, we have our monitoring system, which shows you all your ballast tanks, the tanks that you operate with those valves. So these are the water tanks that we have, and this shows you the level of water in each tank. And this is the cargo system, where basically you have your cargo tanks. We aren't loaded with any cargo at the moment, so it's not showing me anything, but I can actually monitor the cargo loading in my tank because there are gauges and radar systems inside our tank that basically give you live values of all the liquid levels inside your tanks at all times. So it's basically a very automated system. Of course, you have to go on deck. You have to check things manually as well. Definitely say with the art equipment, it's fantastic. So we're not started cargo operations and that's why I'm vlogging. I'm not going to be vlogging during the operation because it's really, really unsafe. Next, we have the one computer that absolutely every duty officer hates that's the paperwork computer which is connected to the common drive on ships if you're an officer at sea or you're a cadet you know the CCR computer it's crazy it's got all the work in it that you don't like doing and that we have our record books here our log books are right here the manifold plan is here and we're not allowed phones or any distractions in the cargo control room but this is the agents communication phone spare radio batteries we have a special whiteboard here so if I have to hand over any information to the next officer I will log it down on the whiteboard so none of us miss it you can see all the lights are on on deck right now so you can switch on all the lights right here in the cargo control room then you have your alarm system safety first always remember that and that's basically it this is the cargo control room i'm gonna go keep my watch and i'm gonna check in with you guys after my watch now i'm gonna put the camera away so i just handed over to third officer say hi to everyone hi. all right good watch man Okay, that was a super hectic watch. We were loading three cargoes at one time, but it is now 6 a.m. and I want to get something to eat. I have to be back at 12, so that's the plan. That's breakfast. We got peanut butter and Nutella. So it is finally 12 o'clock in the afternoon. 11.45 more like I'm heading back down for my cargo watch I don't know what the status of the cargo is but I'm gonna get some coffee and get the CCR take over the watch and uh, continue the vlog the day Everyone's eating lunch and I'm actually just waking up my brain is definitely not firing right now So the operations are in progress I'm on watch. I'm gonna see you guys after watch. A lot of work going on. Very, very hectic. Yep, that is a car carrier that's leaving the port of Singapore. I love the sights of moving ships. I think it's fantastic. I can sit here all day and just watch the ships move around the port. It is one of the most amazing scenes that you'll ever see. It is now 16.40 in the afternoon. The third mate took over watch from me. So first I want to take a second to show you guys the view around the port of Singapore. We have a car carrier here. We have an MSC container ship and the Musk container ship right there. That is the entire container terminal. This is our ship, the chemical tanker. We have a beautiful gas tanker standing right there. It's an LPG carrier. 
and if you walk onto this side you'll be able to see the entire port of Singapore this is where all the tanker terminals are and you can see all the cargo tanks and all the locations so yeah I'm currently on the bridge I'm enjoying this view but uh, I actually have some work to complete. I have to complete my noon reports. So as a second officer, you have to make reports every day with the ship's position, the bunker consumption. I basically have to create my noon reports right now. This takes over an hour after my watch. So this is pretty much a routine. Okay, so we're done with most of the reports on the bridge. I am currently writing my logbook. We have our logbooks to be written after every watch. Yeah, so it's almost 5.15 in the evening. There is another chemical tanker. I'm sorry if you can't hear me because of all the wind and the noise around. This is the third mate because of whom I had to do 6 on 6 off this morning. Oh my god. He worked the entire day yesterday and then because of that we had to do 6 on 6 off. What's up, what's up? Yeah. Messman. Lekki. Putangina. Putangina. Too much putangina. That's our fitter. You already know him. Chief. Gantu, Gantu. Gantu. Too much. <laughs> Heading to the pond store so I can get some nice chocolates. So what you're seeing behind me is the bonded store. This is a duty-free store where we have various supplies, toiletries, chocolates, chips. So today we're getting some chocolate. Okay, so I finally made it back to my cabin. It is 18.45 in the evening. I still have to do a little bit of work which I can do at night, so I'm just gonna like pawn it off. It is the end of the day, guys. I am watching friends on the iPad. I'm editing a video here. I'm pretty much just doing that. I'm gonna do this for an hour, hour and a half. There's not much to show you guys, but this was my day in the life in port. It's very different on a chemical tanker as compared to a container ship or a dry ship. We can't really go out on deck, greater precautions to be taken at all times. So it's a very different life, but we try to make the most of what we have. Today, you guys basically saw how I spent my day in port. That's the end of this vlog. I hope you guys are keeping safe. Keep wearing your masks. Thank you for your support as always. The channel is doing really, really well. We've picked up a lot of momentum in the last few months and it's all because of you guys. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, but whenever it is, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Peace.